Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're doing well this afternoon. I want to share with you a very encouraging um, story that uh, Luciana sent me. And Luciana grew up in Brazil on the eastern uh, coast of Brazil. And about 50 kilometres from where she grew up, there's a little fishing village called Maracaipi. And uh, this last week, the fishermen there went and fished and they caught an amazing catch of fish like they had never experienced before. In fact, one of the older fishermen said this, that he had never seen so much fish in his life from throwing the net. And he concluded it could only have been God. And realising that it can only have been God, their community is in lockdown in a similar way to us here. And food is a little bit of an issue there. And they went round and they distributed all the fish all throughout their community. In fact, there was so much fish, it was 26 wheelbarrows full. It's absolutely amazing. And um, it just reminded me of the passage in uh, Luke 5, where Jesus gets in Simon Peter's boat just before the calling of some of those first disciples. And he tells them to cast their nets into the deep water and they'd been fishing all night but because it was Jesus they were obedient and did that and they too caught an amazing catch of fish so much so that they had to call the nearby boat uh, to help bring that catch in and it filled two boats on that occasion and just two things from that passage Jesus's presence in the boat gave them great confidence and increased their faith and Jesus tells them in the passage that they had no need to be afraid. And the original wording there is stop being fearful. And God's presence in the boat meant that they could turn to him and not be fearful in any way. And I think we can bring great comfort from the story that I've just said from that fishing village in Brazil and from the biblical story where they got a similar amount of fish. And um, a couple of things I just want to say is because of God's presence is with us, Jesus is with us, that will bring us great comfort. Whatever we're going through at the moment, um, we can know the Lord's peace. We can also know him because he's with us as our companion. And if you're on your own at this time, if you're isolated at this time, you have a companion in that house. Jesus is there with you. And because of that, you needn't be afraid. You can know his arms of love that just bring comfort to you. So his presence is with us to bring us comfort. He's a companion to each one of us. And then thirdly, we can do what those fishermen in Brazil did. We can connect with the wider community. And I would just say in respect of that, there are different ways at this time we can do that. But let me just say, if you know someone who's on their own at this time, someone who would feel very isolated, someone who because of that is in a vulnerable position, please pick up the telephone. Please call them. That call can make all the difference to them. It might be you just send a text with an encouraging verse and send your love to them. But let me just say, for those who are completely on their own this afternoon, and I would say, let's do this today. Get in touch with someone today. It might be someone within our church community, and there are some of us who are on our own. And it might be in the wider community. It might be a neighbour that you know, or an elderly person in the nearby community. Put a call in today. Do what those fishermen did. They connected. They met the need in their community for food. And there are various needs. And if you're on your own, just a friendly voice on the end of a telephone at this time. We're not in a position we can call around there, but we can call. Let me just encourage you to do that. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you for your presence with us. Because your presence is with us, Lord, we can know your comfort. Lord, because your presence is with us, we can know you as a companion at this time, Lord. And Lord, would you help us? Would you prompt us this afternoon, put someone on our mind to give a call to, that we can connect and maybe even meet a need, Lord, and just share the love that you so freely give to us, that we'll be able to share that with someone else this afternoon. 
We pray these things in your precious name. We thank you, Lord, that you're still interested in your people. You're still engaging with us. You still love us, Lord. Uh, thank you that you're still on your throne, Lord. And uh, we pray these things in your precious name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.